Okay guys, this is the Raise 3D Pro 2 uh, FDM 3D printer. So FDM is Fused Deposition Modeling, or you can call it FFF, Fused Filament Fabrication, same thing. Okay, so how it works is very much like a glue gun. So what it has is got a uh, filament, which in this case is on here, a material, let's walk around. Okay, got filaments here, basically a wire of material. Okay, so what I say is like a glue gun is with glue gun you've got a, a stick of glue which you push through a nozzle and comes out as a liquid. Okay, so we've got the same thing here but rather than a stick, we've got a continuous flow of material and it goes all the way along the tubes and down and inside here there is a nozzle, okay? And this nozzle has got like a really small hole, 0.4 millimeter but is a standard size. And the material is just pushed through that nozzle and it comes out as a liquid. It's extruded onto this build platform here, and this build platform is heated. Uh, and this build platform, let's unscrew it. Okay, this is a steel bed, and it, it's got this uh, material here which is stuck down. Okay, it's, it's a, called build tack. And it's really good for getting the part to sit down, okay? So I'll put the little platform back in. Now the process is similar to an automaker or uh, if you've used one of those before, where you decide which orientation you're going to build the part uh, and you put it onto the build platform and then you might decide to put some support structures around it, and that sort of thing. And when you've done all of that, your design will get sliced into lots of two-dimensional patterns which are stacked on top of each other. Okay? And you can determine the layer heights of each of these patterns. So the thinner the layer height, uh, the nicer looking of the part, uh, but the negative is it will take longer to build. Okay? So we've got the... Uh, Oh, I've done all that previously, I'll show you that later. Okay. Now this is slightly unusual compared to many 3D printers, where it's, it's enclosed. Okay. Now that gives a real nice benefit. Okay. So we've got the temperature, it's heated up to 210 degrees in there. The build platform is probably heated up to about 60 degrees. And that heat is tend to be uh, held in there. In the the enclosure, okay, and also things like if you've got a drafting room or something like that, uh, it won't affect your, your prints. So. Okay, well, so on this touch screen here, there's things we can do. We can move the build platform around, I can move the uh, extruder around as well, uh, but I won't go into that. I'm just going to go to print now. Okay, and it's going to read it off this, uh, I've also got an SD card in this USB slot here. I'm going to press this part here. Okay, so this gives you a preview here. And there's things like, it shows you uh, the layer height, build temperatures and that sort of thing. So, and also how it's going to take. So I'm just going to press print. What it does is taking the data off that SD card and puts the little memory slot on the machine, and now it's going to heat up. Okay, so here I've got a preview here in the time estimate. The time estimate here is 26 hours 55 minutes. It's reasonably accurate, but it's not amazing. Uh, and it also we also got live uh, temperatures. Here we've got a left nozzle temperature, the right nozzle temperature, and also the heated bed. Okay. So I'm going to leave it a few minutes to cool off, so the plate's still hot at the moment. So just leave it five minutes to cool off, then use a scraper. 
taken off. So this is part of a larger part. What I sometimes do is make it into a little jigsaw. So we've got points in here, so the other parts make together.